Hello friends, it's me again, and it's time, you know, to play some more Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Which I know that DX is short for Director's Cut, but if you're going to put both in the title, I'm going to refer to both, and you're just going to have to deal with that. Select a file. Time for the music I loved as a child, and the vibes that I love as an adult. Um, which character? So we've cleared almost all of the game, and we're halfway through, oh god, only halfway through Big the Cat's storyline. Which is a sequence of six fishing minigames, which I don't really like. Hmm, I'm a cat, my name's Big. I found Froggy in that snowy mountain, but darn, he got away from me again. Oh Froggy, where have you gone? Shorter and more poetic than most of the other characters' brief little, uh, recaps. I'm not completely sure where I need to go next. The fact- also, the fact that he's wearing a belt now makes him feel nakeder. Like, I don't really think about the fact that most of the characters in this game are wearing shoes and gloves and nothing else. Sonic the Hedgehog characters do feel nakeder to me than most cartoon animals do. But the belt kind of rhymes at home. Oh no! He's got my little buddy! Whoa! When I am startled, I also levitate well, six inches in the air. You. Biggs the Cat was created for this game. I think don't think he was in any Sonic media previously. Sorry, if I had only held on tighter. Uh, which means that they decided that they were going to create a whole ass character solely for the purpose of having a fishing minigame. And his whole deal is this kind of ephemeral bonus story. Everyone else's story ties into the same overarching plot and we see the same events from different perspectives. I almost admire the fact that there's this completely unrelated, completely irrelevant, large purple cat who's just also here. He does not- he does not care and is not present for any of the Eggman bullshit. All he cares about is finding his froggy. Which is admirable insofar as it goes to, uh, you know. As far as it goes towards loyalty to one's friends, but you, sometimes, sometimes big, you need to accept that the things we love need to be allowed to leave. Go to Station Square. You may find something. Like this doesn't seem unreasonable to me. Froggy clearly does not wish to be held in captivity by Big the Cat. Froggy has taken the first opportunity to leave. Perhaps it will turn out that Froggy is only doing so under the influence of some kind of mystical gem that he has swallowed. Oh, it's Sonic. What are you doing here? That robot! I'd better go after Amy! Okay, I don't know who Amy is, and I don't know why you're telling me this, Blue Hedgehog. That robot! I'd better go after Amy! That robot! I'd better go after Amy! You know, people talk to him like they think he knows what's going on. People talk to him like they think he's a part of the plot. But he's not. He's just here. He's just around. Which is true also in the fact that he is clearly spherical. Hell yeah, Froggy. I assume Froggy has a tail because he swallowed a Chaos Gem and it's like... Or a Chaos Emerald. Heading the beach. Because frogs simply do not have tails. That is not a that is not a thing frogs do. Which of course therefore indicates I'm going to sneeze quite badly right now. It's building up in my <laughs> I turned away as far as I could from the microphone, and yet Oh god. 
I took allergy medications this morning. It might be wearing off. A frog? I saw him hopping off towards the beach. See, look, this is the first person who's actually tried to help me with my plot. You know, the beach babes in their surprisingly revealing one pieces. They shouldn't allow frogs to just hop all over the place. That frog could be a paying customer too. You don't know. This is a world... Like, I think that the assumption that a frog is just a verminous creature hopping around by your feet when you are talking to a large purple cat man is perhaps questionable. Like, think about it, right? There's no reason to assume that frog isn't also a person. Now, if I smack this guy with my fishing rod, it should kill him. It's just very difficult to line it up. Oh god, his eyes, his eyes move. He looks at things that are nearby. That's really creepy for some reason. I wouldn't have thought it would be, but it is. This is... Okay, this is actually idyllic. I like this location. This is the first fishing location that hasn't irritated me out of the whole brain space that I was in. Hi, human disqualified. Glad to see you. Sorry I forgot to tell you about the last, like, two or three streams, I guess. I've been under brain situations. And indeed, sinus situations now. But see, this is the first. This is the first fishing location that actually feels relaxing to me in some way. Although it sounds vaguely like a mid two thousands RPG background music. Oh, my flatmate has brought me a large box of tissues, presumably to stop me sniffling directly into the microphone. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now where are you, Froggy? Where indeed are you, Froggy? For we all must seek in our lives, our dear and precious Froggy. We all have that one person that is very important to us and that we have to retain in our lives by any means necessary, where we absolutely, absolutely must not allow them to leave, even when they make it clear that they very much would like to. We all have that one person who absolutely cannot be allowed to escape. You know, one might think that restraining orders are invented for this purpose, but unfortunately a frog has no legal status and therefore no capacity to achieve such a thing. I'm straight up going to blow my nose on mic. I really need a, a mute hotkey, but they're quite hard to set up as far as I can tell. Those of my fan bases, those of my fan base possessing foot fetishes, do not appear to be watching today. I do not know if I also have anyone in my in my of my viewers who is interested in sneezes. There must be sneeze fetishists out there. Sonic doesn't need a legal status because he's officially the world's fastest hedgehog, which means that he can just do stuff and nobody can stop him. All I wish is to catch a fish. So juicy sweet. I do like the you've caught a fish music. It reminds me a lot of some of the sort of like semi-vaporwave up-tempo future funky tracks in uh, Paradise Killer, which I still have not done my uh, Let's Play off. Of course sneeze fetishes are a thing. All fetish- everything can be fetishized. There's so someone somewhere is into into a thing, no matter what that thing is, like. It's safer to assume that something is a fetish to someone than that something is a fetish to no one. Hmm, no froggy, but perhaps I will catch a shark. Which is definitely what those are. I think I need to cast further. You kind of—I think you need to kind of hit into into the circle that the big fish describe. It'd just be quite hard to aim that. After all, I'm not a fishing streamer. I'm a generalist video games streamer with pretensions. This music does make me think of like. 
like a mid-tier Final Fantasy from 2002, you know? When the two joke characters are having the one soulful interaction that they have in the entire narrative of the game. Because there's always one. This would be so much easier with a less terrible camera. Presumably I need to get this to drop kind of in front of one of the sharks before it sinks too low. I don't know if there's a verticality element, but not being able to see a goddamn thing really doesn't help. Aha! Perhaps one we'll see now. Oh. It is not... <laughs> the... <laughs> The inability to see how high up or far down something is in relation to my bobber is really bothering me. I'm really bobbered by this. Alright, I'm, I'm not going to catch any goddamn sharks. It's going to take forever. Um, actually, what is up? I, I might try from the other side. Maybe I can see better. <coughs> Perhaps I, sh I can ocean better from this side. Oh! Damn girl, is that an invisible wall or are you just pleased to make this harder for me? Which is probably something someone has said before somewhere. Where the hell is that goddamn piece of shit frog? I cook for him, I clean for him. This is only the third one of these, of four, of five or six. How much more difficult is it going to get? There might be a lure upgrade around somewhere though. I don't see one though. This is so weird. Why did I suddenly get really sneezy and, and, and sniffly at exactly one moment? Oh, oh hey, is that a hammerhead shark? Maybe I can catch that one. It's like all the trees chose to <laughs> chose to just squirt their pollen up into the air just to spite me at exactly the time I started streaming. I've been fine all day thanks to the medication and yet suddenly here now here I am severely debilitated through the medium of sneezes. No one likes no one likes like sniffling and coughing streamers. Yes. Something's biting. Come on, you fat fuck. Gonna eat good tonight. Ooh. These ones appear to be able to break away, maybe. If it overflows, I'll have to do this whole thing again. Well, I don't actually, because I don't need to catch this shark. I just want to. Ah, oh, dip. That one seems extremely difficult to catch. Perhaps I should try for easier prey. Like that goddamn ungrateful bastard froggy. Oh, eel. Eel, 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 eel. 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 I have missed the eel. What? How did I fall in the water? Now I'm no big city fisherman, but I'm pretty sure falling in the water like that ain't how it goes. Eel. It's also really hard to get the line to rotate. Eel, 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 more, more, more. Mi amore, see my delicious bait. This music is actually starting to turn me insane. I don't understand how people can find this relaxing. The loops are just too short. Oh, 
All I wish is to catch a fish so fresh and juicy sweet. You're finding it relaxing because you aren't the one who's got to feed the goddamn family, you know? If I don't catch an eel, my, my children don't eat. If I don't catch a froggy, something completely unexplained but implicitly bad will happen. Did these things respawn? Also, Big's hitbox is a lot larger than it looks like it is. Which means I keep I keep bumping into these monkeys. I do like the way he kind of waggles it like a... Waggles is the wrong word, but he slaps it down like a magic wand. It's got the energy of, like, I cast Spell of Explode on you. Obviously his children are named Big the Junior. And Child the Cat. Oh cool, I'm inside a rock. No, we're alright. Help me. There's a secret passage somewhere. Go and find it. Oh you're joking. Has Froggy been in a secret passage this whole last time? I'm starting to think he really doesn't want to be with me. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I assume this is the secret passage. Wow. Sure was easier than I thought it would be. Aha! Okay. There's a secret mysterious fishing hole. And is this where Froggy is? No, but it is where there's an eel. Which I do want to catch, just because I like them. Moray eels are one of the only creatures on the earth that looks exactly like it's just made a bad pun and it's waiting for you to laugh. Which, as a maker of many bad puns, I empathise with incredibly strongly. Come on, that should be in his line of sight. Eel. Eel, 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 eel. eel. <gasps> yes. Eel phantom. Yes. <laughs> Oh, dip. Where even was that? Was that on the other side of here? I think it was. Oh right, the monkeys all respawned because I died. Haha, <laughs> I'm bad at this game. Right, time to go back in the eel hole and see if it's actually where Froggy is, because if I don't get out of this place soon I'm going to lose my shit. I really want to know what the robot guy's storyline is. Considering Biggs is the penultimate one and is completely unrelated to everything else that's happening. Let's see, we've got a mecha carp. We've got that eel that I want. We've got a red carp. Oh, well, it's not a carp. I keep calling them carp. Actually, that could be a cup. We've got this delightfully dopey looking fucker. And what have we got? We've got no froggy. So this isn't where the frog is. The frog remains a total fucking mystery. If I, if I, if I can't find this guy, I'll never forgive him. Huh, can I not? There's a fish that swims over there, but I can't cast over it. Because of the tree in the way. Hmm. That seems like an oversight. You'd think playtesters would, uh, would have picked up on that. But no. No. No, it's, 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 officially, it's officially day of frustrate self-critical automaton, I guess. Alright, let's try the red guy. See if I can catch that one. That was actually a decent cast, at least. Not a million miles away. Oh, okay. Well, bye, I guess. I suppose that does answer the question of whether it needs to be at a certain height in front of them.
Something's biting! It's definitely easier to catch these guys than it is to catch sharks. I'll give them that much for free. When they can swim away, if I I can't keep this any higher than than I've been putting it because if I put it up any higher, it'll do that and I'll lose a life. So, how am I supposed to catch them? Because no matter how hard I reel them when they're not swimming forwards, they gain more distance when they swim away. The frog you are looking for is up ahead. The game's taking pity on me now. Hi, Art. Yeah, you know, it seems like that would be more efficient, but you know what? Um, Big the Cat is uh, more so than almost any other character in this game, fundamentally bound by a samurai-esque code of honor. It would simply be dishonorable, improper, unethical to not meet the fish where they're at. One makes one's living by the art of the pole. Not unlike many attractive young people in the porn industry. And um, to, to simply re resort to such baser methods as, as just picking the goddamn fish up with your, with your hands, your enormous meat-like cat hands, it would be completely inappropriate. Frankly, I'm surprised you would suggest it. I still can't find the frog! I need the frog! <laughs> we can't- The teacher says I can't go home until I find the frog. I failed to find the frog and therefore- And therefore the teacher is holding everyone back after class until frog is found. Did you know collective punishment is banned by the Geneva Convention, but was also a very popular tactic used by teachers? Certainly it was one that was infuriating to me, as, a, as the, the most well-behaved child imaginable, due to my literal constant panic disorder. Um, more efficient is a very good pun, and I should have thought of it by now. Okay, I'm pretty sure that the frog straight up isn't here. Because I looked, I looked in the, I looked in the cave. And it's literally not in the cave. I, I thoroughly explored that cave and it was frog free. It was completely... It was like, it, it amphibiate weren't there. Like... Completely lost and been forgotten. Is the oh that's the mystery hole over there. It's nice that they at least put something in the back background of the level to show where you end up when you go through the secret passage, because that's probably what that is over there. Um, oh wait, hang on, what? What? Are you kidding me? That blows this whole thing wide open. Okay, so earlier I could not fish inside the water. And now that I have the ring, I can fish inside the water. No one told me that. No one told me! This should be a bit easier now. I should at least be able to get this into the right position. I wonder if there's any real world fishing techniques where people use flotation devices. I suppose that's a boat, isn't it? Most people have a rowing, bo rowing boat. Something's biting! My line is apparently infinitely long. They can just swim away as far as they like. I got a fish. Nice. Kilo and a half. I'll take that. Suddenly this whole thing got a lot easier. Probably. Maybe. Where's that fucking eel? 
time has come. Where does a Parisian Moray live? Ile de France. Oh, yeah, I, I actually brought that up on the first stream of his storyline. I can't stand the... I can't stand the big, dumb person who is, like, characterized as being stupid to the point of, like, developmentally disabled for comic effect. I think that there should be more developmentally disabled characters in media, generally speaking, but not as the butt of the joke, and I think that making the butt of the joke sucks. I think this is a social issue that doesn't get mentioned very much. Um, I think it's a pretty bad one. Another social issue that really gets on my tits are sharks that... I can, I can, I can set this thing to the absolute maximum towing potential without going over and then like it can just swim away and, and undo all of the good work I've done. It's almost impossible to catch these. Like straight up I don't think I'm not understanding them correctly. I think I think it just doesn't work. Oh did I say something wrong? Yes acrylic spatter what's going on? Every day I live in fear of having a gamer moment, even though I don't re even remotely believe that I ever will, because I don't have... I don't have hatred in my heart for various people. Oh, Ile de France! Ile de France! Sweetie, do you know that Ile de France is the, 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 the region of France where Paris is located? As in Ile, the French word for island. Ile, Ile de France. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I don't pronounce French super good. Anyway, now that I've thoroughly explained that joke to whoever's listening, where the fuck do I go to catch my goddamn froggy? Ah, okay, so you're simply spelling it as Ile de France as a, as a fun joke. Or, in, or perhaps to make, make, make light of my, in oh, there, fuck, there he is, Jesus Christ. You bastard, I've been looking for you all day. <gasps> Where's he gone? Fuck, I can't let him get away. Does he just swim throughout this whole whole region? No, he doesn't. Why can't I fish here? Okay, seriously, why am I not allowed to fish here? There we go. No, not for you, you irritating looking guy. No, not for you. No! Ah! I caught the wrong fish. Oh hey, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm literally for reals he's gonna die from not catching fish good. Where'd that frog go? <laughs> My French teacher said I had really good French pronunciation. You know. 17 years ago. And she was Greek, so she'd know. Alright, where's that fucking frog? There you are, you motherfucker. Never getting away from me again, you hear? I'm not allowed to fish on the frog. If I throw my... If I throw my... Little... What even is that? Is it like a platypus? This entire stream is just going to be me trying to find this goddamn frog, I think. I thought we'd get to the robot story today. Robots are cooler. Oh, he went through it! No! Froggy. Mother frogger. Look, it's right here. Please. Please. Look, see it, see it with your eyes. 
Oh, okay. No catchy. Come on. Something biting. It better be easier to catch than those sharks that are allowed to just leave if they What? 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 Why did it stop? How do people find this relaxing? This is the most infuriating activity I've ever done in a video game. And I willingly fight Dark Eater Midir on Dark Souls 3. I'm going to die here. My neighbors will investigate a terrible smell and they'll come in here and my PC will still just be running this on an endless loop as my skeleton floops across my desk. Looks like it's another case of frog-related gamer death syndrome or frogs. Why is he so fucking hard to catch? Who thought this was a good idea to put in their fun video game? Ah! Eat it, you bitch! Take the bait! <laughs> this is not fair! This is not fair! I had a friend of mine pop up in my DMs yesterday being like, wow, you don't find the frog levels relaxing? I find the frog levels super relaxing. I, I love the I love the music and the just catching the frog. And if you don't like it, you can just catch the frog and leave. <laughs> catch the frog and leave. She lied to me. Straight to my face. Motherfucker, in you come. I'm gonna get you this time. This is the fucking Dark Souls of fishing games. Except it's not, because Dark Souls is fair. Or is this frog is a cruel and arbitrary mistress? At least the frog doesn't seem to be able to swim away the way the other fish do. The other fish seem to just be able to decide to leave. Why are you stuck? I'm literally fucking focused so hard. Yes! Oh my god, I can leave. I hate this place and everyone in it, I say, throwing a match over my shoulder as I walk out. I'm gonna burn this whole beach down! That bitch stole my frog! That's not very froggers of you. Frog champ emoji. No, Wait, hang on. on that's the racist. That's the racist toad picture, huh? No, let's not. Let's not have that. Not the one you posted, acrylic spatter. The one that I suspect is frog champ. On the other hand, I don't actually know. Maybe. Oh shit! Is the fucking swimming pool on the spaceship? Is that? Is that? Does that exist so that? Everyone's favorite uh, cat man can can go catch a a goddamn frog. Froggy? This place doesn't look familiar to me at all. Yeah, no shit. You haven't been paying attention to the plot. Why are you here? Who invited you? Mm, smells like froggies around somewhere. I think I'll see what's behind this door. Oh, it's probably a big pool of water with a frog in it. Your friend is in the hot shelter. <gasps> Hurry up and rescue him. The hot shelter. Wait, the hot shelter? Not the swimming pool? I can't even remember what was in the hot shelter. That's where Amy went. Well, I can see why they call it the hot shelter, considering there's so many busts in here. The dump tish. Oh, I'm getting messages. I should probably switch my uh, Discord noises off. Give me two seconds and we'll be right back.
And hey, we're back. Did I mute my mic? No, I did not. Okay, I'm professional but convenient. Oh, is this the act? The first. This is the first like actiony action stage this guy's gotten. I think. This is much more akin to. Look, he's even got a speed boost. Hell yeah! This is what Sonic's supposed to be like. Why isn't it always like this? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Speedy. Climb the fucking ladder, you bastard. You useless lump, get up there. We're back to Sonic the Hedgehog. Where it's about running faster and platforming. Not being a goddamn fisher cat. I, of I officially consider this to be the best level already, I say, having yet to actually fish up a single goddamn fish. Why couldn't it all be like this? <gasps> there is. Oh, thanks for the follow, whoever oh, that was. Welcome to the so this. He? Looks like he needs my help. Well, he, he hasn't needed your help literally since you got here, my dude. He's trying to get away from you. You need to accept. <laughs> you need to accept that your boyfriend wants to leave. You can't keep people in a box their whole lives. Can I get up there? Science boy D, yes, hell yeah. Right, where the hell was I going? I need to find that frog. These sharks are a pain in the ass to catch, and I don't care about getting a good score in these levels because I would like them to simply be the fuck over. There's the frog. Okay, I've got the hang of this now. I know what to do. I can catch this fucking froggy. I'm going to teach him a lesson he'll never frog at. And you know what? I'll never forgive him. Oh, I see how it is. Suddenly you're too good for my bait? Too good for my cute little blue fishy? I see how it is. Uh... Hmm. Frogbutt? Froggles? Friggly frag? Oh, there you are. So yeah, got him! Ha ha ha! This can be the shortest one. This is my favourite of all of these levels so far, and it's going to be the, by far the shortest. I would normally have said that these two facts were not unrelated, but honestly, if I had to do more fishing in this room, I would not be as frustrated as I as if I had to do more fishing in the other- Oh, fuck! Well, I guess I do have to do more fishing in this room. Oh, okay, it puts you right back all the way to the whole ass beginning again. Okay, no, this is officially as frustrating as the others. For a second, for a hot second, I thought that perhaps some designer somewhere had won out in making this less of a terrible goddamn idea for a Sonic the Hedgehog video game, but no. Whenever I think this game is about to not do something I hate, it's like, hey, have you considered, uh... having to repeat the exact same thing you already did? We love making you do that. Oh, at least the water's already here. Oh, what, happen what happens if I get game over? Do I just, like, fucking... Do I die? Is that it? Or do I restart the zone? Because if I can just restart the zone, what, what exactly is the point of... having? Like, the capacity to die? If death isn't meaningful, what's the point of having it? I say, as a creature existing on a human scale of intelligence and therefore doomed to die and with zero, you know, meaning to it. Hello, what's up? Warning, there is a plug in the center. Be careful not to trip over it. Well, what exactly is going to happen if I, if I pull the plug, huh? Can I catch it with my fishing rod? This feels like a secret. I imagine this is going to dump all of the water in here into the other room, but I don't know what that's going to do. Uh, 
I wish I could control- <laughs> I wish I was responsible for the rate at which fishing bobbers sink, because it can be kind of a nuisance waiting. <gasps> I'm a genius. Alright, well, I don't know what I've achieved, but I sure did achieve something. Oh, hey, look. You can levitate. Hop. So, I've made all of this shit be underwater. Does that actually help me in any way, or does this make it harder? I suspect I may have made this harder for myself. For little benefit whatsoever. But I will admit I'm curious as to what secrets are hidden. I might find another life, at least. A better life. One that doesn't require me to fish for a living. Oh? Huh? There's like a whole ass platforming level hidden in here. What the hell? I'm delighted, but also confused. Oh, oh, this is the... Aha, these are the, the fishing ponds that we saw on the way in. Oh shit, I recognize that one. That's a for realsies fish. That's like a... Stony grouper or something. Or a stonefish? What are they called? I don't know, there's a word for them. That's an ore fish. A lot of interesting fish up in here. What? But Actually, I was about to ask why Eggman has all these interesting fish in this, his interesting fish collection, but he's a mad scientist. He's allowed to have interesting fish in his interesting fish collection if he wants. Like, I'm not responsible for the behaviours of, of cool, mad scientists. Hi, Ant Slayer. You are not just in time for the fishing minigame because I've been doing it all stream and for most of the last stream as well. Oh, I don't like it very much. But, it, you know, in the interest of completionism, it's necessary that I perform it. Warning, the water is covered with glass. Fragile, please be careful. Okay. Like this? Oh, could I not smash it? Huh. Hmm. Let's see, the last time there was a warning, it had a puzzle for me to solve. Oh, I bet if I go underneath, I can smash it with the... Smash it from underneath with my empty goddamn head. If I can get over there somehow. Is there a connection? I don't see a connection. Hmm. It's just occurred to me, I could have spent this entire time catching Froggy and leaving. Which perhaps would be better for everyone, most of all me. See, that looks like a self-contained separate tank, which means I have to break it from above, right? As far as I can tell, it's just got another, uh... Wobbegong or whatever the hell it is. Oh, is it a Wobbegong shark? I think it's something like that. Which is another good name. Maybe if I jump from higher up, that's probably not the answer. Now, based on the fact that Biggs the Cat has been shown to have, like, one primary super cool special ability, which is super strength, you'd think I'd be able to pick something up and drop it, considering that was already a mechanic in one of the earlier levels. And yet... And yet... Oh, hang on, can I pick these up? Actually, that might be an answer. I do not appear... Oh! Hmm. No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. I thought I'd solved a puzzle for a second there. Instead of solving the puzzle, I'm simply going to absent myself from this this uh, plane of existence by drowning myself. No. Um. Where the hell did I get in here from? It was back over this way. There probably is an answer to that question, but you know what? This isn't one of my in-depth YouTube Let's Plays where I explore every aspect of a game and its thematic connections or whatever the fuck. Whatever other pseudy bullshit I want to talk about. No, this is me streaming, which means I get to do whatever I like and what I want to do right now is leave. Where is the frog? Froggy, 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 there you are. Oh, okay, I can't fish. There's not enough height, there's not enough ceiling height. <laughs> okay, um, 
Okay, question. Oh, there we go. This is going to be extremely difficult to aim at Froggy properly. Like, I'm starting to think I should just forget about it. Alright. Is this just like a bonus difficulty mode? What if I activate this again? Nothing. Guide me, Sprite. This must be the emergency drainage switch. Hell yeah! I, I already emergency drained it. Alright, where even is Froggy gone? I lost track of him. There he is. Okay. Why would anyone drop the extra water down here? I don't see the benefit. I suppose maybe if you need more more fish to get the bonus, the bonus fish, you know, the fish bonus, which traditionally make you choke to death. Sure as hell makes it difficult to see where to put the bobber to catch Froggy. There he is. I might be able to catch him with this one. Sink, sink, sink. See, most fishing minigames are really easy and fun and fine. This one is actually on the simulationist end. Fishing minigames don't usually have quite such a level of- Oh shit, there's the- Nope, okay, Froggy does not give a shit, okay. So, I should try and do it, like, here then, which will be slightly more on- on correct aim, I guess. Is that like that? Is that better? Like, most fishing minigames are just easier than this. Yeah, catching that, catching those in uh, Stardew Valley should come with the Sturgeon General's warning, if you ask me. Okay, let's go further forwards. Let's see how this does. I think that's a bit too far to one side. Wiggly, wiggly. I've, I've sort of figured out how to get it to move, but it's it's not easy. On the other hand, if I could find another three rings, then I would uh, win an extra life. A phrase which is permanently and indelibly marked on the inside of my brain because of these multimedia educational CD-ROMs that schools could get for free when I was a kid. Which would frame doing math problems, like high-speed arithmetic problems or whatever, as like little shooting mini-games you had to shoot the correct answer. And they'd be like skeletons popping up from behind skeletons popping up from behind like gravestones and stuff, or whatever other similar similarly silly ideas they could come up with. Which sounds rad. But whenever you got enough scores, it would go, You've won! An extra life! In the world's most irritating voice. Also, I don't think there was much of a penalty for failure. I have to get it in the right position and then time it to fall past his field of vision at the right time it makes this feel almost impossible. It's almost like an anti-stealth game. I'm trying to get spotted by the guard on the patrol route, and yet he's not he's not having it. This patrol route guard does not give a shit about my personal time. I think it's fallen too far now. As it sinks into darkness, my soul going with it. The last shreds of my patience tied to a small plastic fishing bobber in the hope that I will be able to recapture a frog, and with it some semblance of a normal life. Alright, that ain't working. Maybe I should just maybe I should just allow myself to die so that the level will reset so that I can catch Froggy without opening the ceiling, which would probably make it a lot easier. It seems like it seems like it would be an absolute exercise in tedium if you wanted to try and get the high score on this level. Since you'd have to You'd have to catch a bunch of other fish, which is already tough enough. But then you'd have to catch Froggy with this bonus difficulty. Like, I've been pretty harsh on this game a fair amount of the way through for fairly obvious reasons. It's a buggy, badly designed mess, but it is deeply charming. Except for this, which is the opposite of charming and is going to make me into the Joker, which I keep saying and I wish I could escape, but it's gonna happen, people.
I, I'm just gonna, I'm commit so <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm out ski. Like, for, for reals. Let me just grab another one of these. I'm just gonna sit here at the bottom of the lake. I'm joining you. I'm going to become one with the, I'm going to become one with the shark. They can feed upon my corpse. If I can just manage to wear it as a hat. He went out of this world as he came into it, molesting wildlife. Okay. Concerning. Okay, look, the plug's there, the plug's there. Okay, we're, go we're good, we're golden, the plug's there. No, wait, wait, hang on, it's draining? What the fuck? <gasps> oh, you bastard us. You bastards. Uh, if you're objecting to the phrase molesting wildlife, I am not using it in a sexual sense. The word molest has gained additional negative connotations, but it does not refer to sexual interference. It refers to just a general interference. Like, he's causing problems. He's causing problems for the fish, you know? He's going into their place of business and bothering them. Here we go again. This should reset the level, I think, as I understand it. It may put a permanent reduction on my scorecard, I don't know. At this point, I don't care. I simply wish to leave. I will say, his drowning animation is a little too real. <laughs> like, Sonic the Hedgehog traditionally drowns by going and then flying off of the screen. Whereas I was not ready for, for this, this delightful fat man to flop face down in the water <laughs> and gently drift back up towards the surface. It makes me think of the iconic scene in best British uh, sitcom of all time, uh, Spaced, where the main character's girl, well, one of the main character's girlfriend leaves him, and he's just playing Lara, he's playing uh, Tomb Raider, drowning Lara Croft over and over and over, and his friend asks him, like, why are you, why are you, are you getting dumped made you want to play video games? And he said, no, getting dumped made me want to drown things, and I think about that sometimes in my life. Boink, boink. Alright, okay. I'm gonna get this goddamn frog. I'm gonna put him in a box. Never gonna allow him to leave. I mean, you say it clashes with the lightness of everything else, but this is the Sonic the Hedgehog game that was the first Sonic the Hedgehog game to feature a genocide. It's also the first Sonic the Hedgehog game to feature um, gun violence. in a Like, quite literally. And also a bomb blowing up an entire city. You know, they were clearly laying the groundwork for Shadow the Hedgehog, the world's edgiest Sonic the Hedgehog character, to show up next game. There is a there is a sort of deeply millennial energy, though, to the the, the like cheerful, boppy music in the background going going away as you gently drift up towards the surface. Your lungs full of water and your body empty of life. I would, this would bother me a lot less if if they just had a higher detection radius. Like if he would just if he would just go for it from a slightly a slightly closer location, I would I would I would be so much less irritated by how difficult this fucking game is. Yes! Why was that so easy? These systems don't make any sense. That was the, that was a thousand times easier than anything else I've ever done. Not too bad. I actually did read a really interesting um, yeah. essay on the influence of, like, post nine a post nine eleven world on uh, We're together again at last, huh? the three D Sonic games, which was really interesting because it was intentionally a spurious reading, huh? but also illustrating. Oh, he gets into the genocide flashback too. He's not part of the plot, but I guess he's involved. 
Where am I? Froggy? Where are you? I don't know, but you're about to witness something fucking terrible, my my boy. My big fat buddy. My big time gal. My 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 precious floofer. Is this is is this who Tikal is actually going to explain the whole genocide thing to? Because she hasn't explained it to anyone yet. We've just had several cryptic visions of different bits of the chain of events. So if she just tells this wow. gentle giant, like Is it alright for me to be here? These fishing segments are mandatory to properly finish the game, yes, because there are six storylines and you have to complete all six storylines to unlock the real final boss. Yeah, it was a, it was the wild west of, of game development. This game came out in 2001, 2002, something like that. You only actually see the dead chows in one memory of the game. In, I think it's in Sonic's story. The, seven chaos the servers? By one. That is the controller. Servers and the controllers? Is this a meta meta narrative the controller thing? Itself. Could this be the emerald that controls the seven chaos? Did she just repeat herself? This man like, well, I'm sure never gonna think about that again. Froggy? I don't like the looks of this place. Just... If something happens now, there's no point to my rescuing you. He was fine. I don't know who would bother to save us both? You haven't been rescuing him. You've been pulling him out of a succession of We're increasingly fine going, pools buddy. for him to be in. The only problem has been this latest one. Oh hell yeah, Eggman's funky theme. Been a while since I heard that. Oh, two seconds of it, okay. Ah, it's back, fine. I think Eggman's theme might be my favorite in this game. Is this not the monorail? I thought that was the monorail. Are you the monorail? Oh, hey, that's one of Eggman's weird little Eggman egg egg chests. His wibbly little squiggle that he sits in. Aha, there we go. That seems like a bad design from a health and safety standpoint. You're not allowed to enter the monorail until it's given you a gentle little pat on the head with 500 kilos of reinforced steel carbonite. Carbonite? Carbon reinforced steel, I meant to say. Oh, hey, look, it's the crashed aeroplane from the important plot that's actually happening. The way this is, the way this guy is just forest gumping his way through this entire situation is just deeply fascinating to me. Like, why is he here? People keep, people keep telling him vaguely important. Oh, okay, the final boss is a fish. I see. I don't know why I, I don't know why I expected anything else. So it comes to this. So I see you're trying to escape. I'm right on time. The great battle of Pass. our time. Grab him! Get that frog! <laughs> don't forget the chaos emerald. <laughs> I mean, he needs- the frog ate a Chaos Emerald, that's why he's after it, right? Now's your time, Froggy. Unleash your inner power. Yes. Become the Super Froggy. Activate your true inner ability. No, don't level up the- Froggy, how could you? Froggy has betrayed us. Possessed by your tail. Excuse me? Once you get your tail, you'll be complete and ultra strong. What the hell does that mean? I mean, this is clearly Froggy's moment of, apothe of apotheosis. 
This was never- this was never about Big the Cat at all! Holy shit, we've blown this wide open! This was always about Froggy becoming a, a deity of destruction. Froggy's been up to something this entire time! He's been manipulating us to bring him into the position he needs to be to swallow a Chaos Emerald and become part of a mega deity. Look what happened. Chaos has transformed again. How could I have been so blind? Huh? <laughs> go. I love the Sonic go. straight up in his version of this of these events doesn't remember Don't Big being you. here. Don't worry, Pally. So he's your friend, eh? No sweat. I'll get him back. Watch me. The total confidence of Sonic the Hedgehog. I wish we could all be so grossly incandescent. Zero hesitation, zero regrets. Careful, Froggy. Don't worry. We'll get you back. This man operates on instinct and instinct alone. Big the Cat, however, is clearly misguided in everything he's ever done. Froggy chose to be a part of chaos. He hopped right the fuck in. Aim for the frog and cast your lure. Okay. Where's Sonic, though? Because he did say he would help. Owie. Okay, well that didn't work. Oh! Wait, that's it? Are you kidding me? I didn't even have to try. <laughs> it didn't even go into the fishing minigame. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Take you away again. <laughs> go, go on and get out of here. I'll do the rest. Froggy's brief moment of power, his final ability to escape, escape this large man who keeps chasing him down for no reason. No one asked what Froggy wanted, and what Froggy wanted was to become the god of destruction. What in what in what? <laughs> hey, maybe we could use this. I don't know the first thing about it. Oh well, I'll give it a try anyway. I can't take this anymore. There's no way. There's no way the final storyline can top this. I know that the final storyline is a cool robot, which will normally have me be totally jazzed about it because I. Uh, speaking as a robot, I love to see good representation of robots in video games. But like, are you kidding me? This ending makes up for the absolute horror of the last two hours of this game. It's really quite tragic as Froggy now accepts his nece necessitated fate. He realizes at this point that he can never escape. No matter where he goes, no matter what he do does, no matter, no matter which gods of of infinite horror he awakens and becomes a gestaltic part of somehow this 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 purple fuck of a man is going to find him and drag him back he went to the beach he went to the mountains he went to a theme park he hid in all the places a frog might naturally hide and when it, even that didn't work, he turned to the single most evil man in the world and said, Hey, give me a hand, I'll give you a magic emerald. And even that didn't work. And then he willingly bonds himself with the single most destructive force that's ever existed on this planet. This precious and easily destroyable planet of Mobius. And I'm not giving up the belief that this is still Mobius. On the other hand, this, like pop country track does kind of slap. Well, she, that sure was a whole bunch of stuff that happened. I don't understand why he was here. I don't understand what his deal was. Just total mystery. Hey, when I do this, can you guys still hear the music? Sometimes, sometimes, some games you can and some some you can't, and now it seems like... Well, I, I assume that... Like, it's a pretty avant-garde idea. They did this whole Rashomon thing of having... Of having six different characters who experience the same events and remember those events differently, and the way they remember those events 
is contingent on their personalities and characters in addition to the different aspects that they personally experience. That's fascinating, right? Like, that's a good idea for a video game. I don't know why that's what they chose to put in their, like, killer app release title. You know, this is the equivalent of Super Mario 64 for the N64, right? This was their answer to that. This was their Dreamcast, like, tentpole franchise. And somehow, like, like, every other character so far has, has, has had platforming plus a thing. Sonic the Hedgehog has had, like, start to finish, mostly 2D with some 3D bits, like, platforming. Tails had the same thing, but with the addition of having to beat another character attempting to complete the same course. Knuckles had the same thing, except with the addition of, um... You know, there's not a start and finish, you're instead doing a scavenger hunt in an open 3D level. And then Amy had, you know, the start to finish thing, except she's being chased by a threat that will hurt her. And then there's Big, who no one knows, and is just here, and talks to characters twice throughout the entire, like, run of the game, and is just kind of... Like, who invited you? On the other hand, it does fit into the whole kind of, like, we're gonna jam every mechanic we can think of thing into this game. Like... If this was a secret bonus mode that could be unlocked, it would honestly make more sense to me. Like, if you completed the other five storylines and beat the final boss, and then it unlocked this, the sixth storyline, which is like a fun post-game bonus mode where you get- well, where it's like, actually, this guy was here all along also! That would make a lot more sense to me. Is this- holy sh- wait, hang on, this song is about the Konami code? Are you kidding me? All you have to do is hit left, right, up and down? Are we going to have the problem of the song finishing a good minute and a half before the credits finish again? Because you think they just run the credits a bit faster and make it line up. Or, or is Amy the only person that that's going to have happened to? She she got really short shrift in this game. And if the fact that... If if her song wasn't, like... Ad, like uh, yeah, so she's the only one so far out of six char out of five characters we've seen play through a play, uh, full playthrough of. Oh, it was 2003 this came out. Huh, interesting. Ha, huh, that's funny. Because frogs don't have fins. I mean, that wouldn't be surprising. I wonder if the guy who went on to make the really well-received base fishing game for, uh, for Dreamcast had worked on this. That, that actually... I kind of want to know the answer to that now, actually. Because there, there were some really popular, uh, like, fishing games on on the Dreamcast. I'm kind of I'm tempted to look that up, actually. I won't remember to do that for next uh, stream. <laughs> anyway, we've 100%ed everybody now, except for E102 Gamma. So let's see what his whole deal is. Preparation complete. He's got the best voice of anyone in the game. I'll give you that for free. How to play as E102 Gamma. Why is Big telling me this? Okay, so you can move, lock on, rotate. Press X or B to activate the laser beam. After running for a couple seconds, he turns into wheels. I used to be able to do that, but it became inconvenient when I had a small flat. Pick up, but down throw, shake. How to clear the game? The stage um, is cleared when he. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Uh, as I suspected, E102 Gamma's... Oh, well, let's listen to Eggman. Excellent. Full systems, full power. I could listen to this man talk all day. Oh shit, is Eggman my sonic waifu? What the fuck? Look at me. I'm your brilliant creator, Dr. Robotnik. 
You're the second of my E100 model machines! E102! Codename Gamma! Gamma. That's right! You will now obey only me. Oh, it only works. Okay. I can't just. I can't just. I can't just shoot. I have to lock onto things. Okay. Fair enough. Anyway, so my suspicion. Oh. It's him again. The shooting range is through this door. Your big brother, E101 Beta, is there practicing. Enter, Gamma! You're not as advanced as Beta is, but you'll do fine. Rude. I'm an alpha, I'll show you. <laughs> Destroy the targets, and you'll get extra time. Okay, so this is basically, as I suspected, uh, I suspected that Gamma's segments were going to be 3D platforming with a shooting component, and I appear to be correct. So, Big is really, really the only character who is not, who, who breaks that paradigm of the whole, um, will have, um, you know, uh, a 3D platforming thing and plus some other thing. Uh oh. Well, goodbye. I actually haven't played the Revengeance DLC. I'm playing through Revengeance at the moment in my own time, so I should probably give that a go. Mission complete. Anyway, yeah, so I suspected that, that Gamma would be the same 3D platforming again, but with the added component being a shooting component. But this is also very clearly the direct uh, ancestor for the mech stages in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, or indeed Sonic Adventure 2. Which is interesting, because um, that, that role was then therefore reassigned to the world's least shootiest character, namely uh, Tails, the fox who's a nice boy and doesn't like to explode things, generally speaking. Do I need to do this? <laughs> do I need to solve that puzzle? Again? For like the seventh time in this game? I think every character comes to the Death Egg at some point and has to solve that puzzle, except... It's not the Death Egg, it's the Death Carrier, the Egg Carrier. Good which is still a funny word. I didn't think you had what it takes. Why are you such a dick to me? Okay then, Gamma. Here's your test. If you want to stay on board, you must be able to pass it. So pay attention to what I say. The almighty egg carrier is a flying fortress that needs a good crew. Come forth, Beta! Oh, is he gonna make me murder my brother? Brother E101. Just call him Beta. I am pitting the two of you against each other. Oh, for real? The winner serves on my ship. I put my bets on Beta, but I owe you at least a fair chance. Father, you are distant and ruthless. Didn't take long, did it? Like, literally, like, minute one. Minute one, we're at murder your brother. Getting some streamer who has only ever listened to Proto Men music. Wow, I'm sure getting some Proto Men vibes from this plot. Just absolutely destroyed. <laughs> oh, you surprised me, Gamma. I had a funny feeling there was more to you than meets the eye. Oh, uh, Transformers reference. Gamma permission to serve on board the egg carrier. What will happen to my brother? So you want to come along with us, eh? 
Okay, okay. We can always use a spare set of parts, I guess. You have special permission. I guess he does have a heart after all. I think Gamma is definitely my favourite character and I have no idea why he doesn't show up in the sequel. Maybe he dies tragically at the end of this. Ironically, through my interactions with talking animal entities, I have discovered what it truly means to be human. Oh shit, we're color coded. Did these guys have to did these guys have to fight to the death to prove their position on the ship? Or was I the first production model and Gamma was the pro and Beta was the prototype? Testing one, two, three. <clears throat> you, the elite egg carrier. Sure is Super Sentai vibes up in here. To hear a very special announcement. Behold, it's a tail frog. Very unique. Oh, this voice actor was loving his job this, this day. Frog is absolutely vital to my plan. I command you to locate this frog immediately! You hear me? I don't care what it takes to get it. Just bring it to me! Behold! I have discovered the plot relevance of the feline! To attention. Nice to see that Big the Cat apparently had some purpose to play in this grand tapestry, even if... Oh shit, I'm just released into the open world to talk to people, like Sonic the Hedgehog was. Can I shoot- can I shoot down Cream the Rabbit? <laughs> Good morning. I am Jeffrey Humanson. So he thinks I'm a government warbot to stop him from- Oh, I know. This one thinks I'm a customer. I think the other guy might just be a moron. <laughs> These guys seem to have the same dialogue. Um, they have the same dialogue as... As, as when you're Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Hammed burger. I wonder who has enough money to afford sending a robot to shop for him. Okay, so this guy has different dialogue. Did this woman ever successfully ask him on a date? What are you? Please don't bug me. I'm right in the middle of a big decision. Just go for it, girlfriend? Who said just go for it, girlfriend? Is that guy- is th that this guy talking to her? Or was that Gamma giving his own two cents? I cannot shoot the cars. I did in fact already try. Can I pick up the man? That's the real question. The most important question in this game. <gasps> he can't! He can't pick up the man? Yes, there we go! <sighs> yeah! Hell yeah! Well, I mean, people at least implicitly know that, that robots are, like, part of evil supervillain Eggman's whole deal. And people also implicitly know that Sonic the Hedgehog is that one guy who saved the world who is inexplicably a blue hedgehog and we don't know why because he's from the other side of the planet and from the people from the other side of the planet are all talking animals but we never ever talk about that in human society. It's an open question that we simply do not engage with. I will keep this distinguished older man. In some way he brings me happiness. What am I even supposed to be doing? Oh, I was supposed to be finding the frog. Help me, spirit. A long-tailed frog was seen heading toward the beach. Yeah, it's great. He's so speedy. He's so slippy. I like that his 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 feet remind me of sort of distinguished shoes, you know, like a nice pair of brogues. Oh no! My beloved. <laughs> I'm sorry. I threw that old man into the sun. Why am I why am I destroying Eggman robots? These uh Okay, first of all, why am I collecting rings? I remember that it was a plot point in the old cartoon that um the rings of power like Eggman wanted them because they're extremely useful for 
powering his robots, I guess. More effective than powering them with the souls of tiny animals, which is what he normally does. Um, but why am I... Like, these are, these are, these are Eggman robots. I'm not entirely sure why it's necessary for me to destroy the Eggman robots, but uh, who cares? I love wanton destruction! Oh, he's not allowed to do the cool loop-the-loops, though. I guess maybe these robots have a weak AI and are just kind of... Like, it's their job to just, like, destroy anything that comes this way? So it's necessary for me, a robot with a higher standard of AI, as will be revealed when Amy Rose successfully philo Frog philosophizes me. <laughs> Frog capture complete! Hell yeah! I kind of wish the I kind of wish this was a Metal Gear mod, actually. This is this is I've never played this before. Just to be clear, I've played the sequel a lot. I've never played this one, and I love this. This is my favorite plotline so far. I want to see him slowly awaken into a, a fuller, more rounded consciousness where he's able to make his own decisions, which Master we know happens later. Rotation. Plus, I love his voice. He has he ha he super has like mid nineties, highly Accessing data. highly critically acclaimed claimed cyberpunk anime AI voice. You know, he sounds exactly like something from Ghost in the Shell. No data found. Location unknown. This presents a problem. Hell yeah, problem solving. It's the birth of consciousness. We all know this. Babies learn to be, like, adults capable of existing through problem-solving as babies. Like, humanity evolved consciousness because problem-solving let us hunt more effectively. And get- <gasps> Oh shit, is this when we see the genocide? The last time- the only other time we've seen this scene, all of these things were dead and burning. They were corpses. Is it all finally going to come together? Are we all are we finally going to get the last key, the last piece of the puzzle? What destroyed these adorable and delicious looking little bastards? Because my belief is that they called up chaos to defend themselves against the echidna army attempting to destroy them. And that's the explanation for what chaos is. Fascinating. I'm sorry. I see you must not be one of them, huh? What clued you in? Perhaps it was my metallic exoskeleton. Did you notice the presence guarding these children? He's a very loving and gentle creature. These little creatures are too vulnerable without its protection. This protection allows them to continue seeing in peace. Even I was surprised the first time I saw him. Now my father is trying to take their sacred home. They are children. They are his heart is closed off to us all. They are babies. The question is what they grow up into. Hope is that someday we'll understand each other. I mean, he hasn't been ordered to kill these things, so... But, I mean, it does seem like it's heavily implying that he's gonna do a genocide. <laughs> this frog's the one we want. No, here's the real one. My frog is the right one. Hmm, interesting. Also, I think I established that my, in my, at least my own personal canon earlier, there is absolutely, like... Like, the Chows are creatures that ah, dummies, 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 dummies. they are not unlike the Eloi like they are eternal children they are children in that they are fundamentally childlike that same frog has also swallowed a chaos emerald. because if you think about it is that not the truest state of bliss ah, there it is right there I'm proud of you gamma just a joyful pre-consciousness for all of our existences I knew Total freedom from, from, you know, the fruit of 
the tree of good and evil. Oh shit, is he murdering them? Or is he teleporting them? They don't look like they're enjoying it. No, Gamma, please. You will get a new assignment. This one's easy. Go to the room through that last door. Just tucks it under his arm like a pool toy. Once there, they'll find a girl and a bird. Just get me that bird. Oh, this is where it happens. Go! Genius philosopher Amy Rose successfully convinces this guy to uh, develop a higher consciousness and cease to follow evil orders. One? With, like, one question. It's amazing. I'm not sure why we're doing the whole old Monty Hall problem here, though. <gasps> oh, interesting. Oh no, heartbreaking! He's discovered what's happened to his brothers. He wasn't kidding when he said they were going to break him down for spare parts. And presumably that's the one that's going to replace you someday, buddy. Or it's being dismantled, actually. My bad. <laughs> oh my god, this robot. This robot's discovered the concept of death. Exactly as a child might. I know I sound sarcastic, but I'm enthralled. I have seen things I was never meant to see. This is the wrong room. <laughs> Hell yeah, buddy, you're not kidding. Please excuse me, I have made a mistake. <laughs> I see you are changing. <laughs> oh, this is the best storyline. I like this one a lot. Um, okay, so... Um, see, I have a real thing about stories about robots gaining sentience and wanting to be human and not quite being human or wanting to become sentient entities in their own right despite the fact that they are you know created and manufactured by mankind i have one of the reasons why i joke about being a robot and why my i guess online avatar is a robot is because i deeply identify with robots that are not quite human and are observably not human and that other humans do not trust so you know, I like this storyline a lot. However, it does seem like a really weird and awkward one to do within the context of the game that we have been previously playing. The last storyline we played through was about Forrest Gump the cat working his way through a succession of frog fishing encounters, you know? Anyway, I suppose I should go see what's up. Oh, it's the Eggman game. Huh, I can't play it. I'm not allowed. It doesn't register me as a real person. Ah, here we go, we get to see this cutscene from the other point of view. So it wasn't really Amy Rose's brilliant philosophizing that successfully transformed Gamma 102 uh, into a, a moral entity. It's, it was his observation of his, of his potential own death and the death of his brother, which awakened in him the understanding of both what mortality is, and therefore also the terrible things that have befallen his brothers and his own Give culpability. Resistance is futile. Give me the bird. I said no! Why not? None of your business, why not? I want to know why you want it. Data unavailable. You don't even know? I bet you'd be mean to him, you bully! Why not help us out instead? Don't you know how bad I feel? Does not compute. 
Allow me to sit you down. That which is useless to you does not compute. I feel sorry for you. Eggman failed to give you feelings. Wait a minute, Birdie! Tell me more of this theory of mind. Get going. Huh? I have gazed into the eyes of a small bird, and all of my psychological problems have resolved. It, that works in real life too, you Why can try it. Dangerous here. Hurry, we'll be arriving at the Mystic Ruins base soon. So, you're not like those other robots, huh? Now, see, that's where her philosophical basis you're starts really to break down. Inside, aren't you? He's not a good I person inside. Friends, Take care, okay? The important thing is that he's a person inside and therefore can grow and change and develop an understanding of his own place in the cosmos. Oh, Amy. Always let down at the last hurdle. Because there's no reason to assume that his brother robots would not also have been capable of developing higher reasoning and ethics. This is just this is just a, another example of like the bigotry against robots. Don't worry, Gamma, you're one of the you're one of the good ones. Anyway, I had a super good like. I had like a super good like critical interpretation line that I was going to make about uh, Gamma's whole dealio here and I have literally forgotten what it was because I was waiting till the end of that cutscene to say it. Don't uh, don't try and be a streamer if you've got ADHD because it sucks. Unless you're funny, which I'm not, so... Joke's on me, I guess. God, I wish I could remember what it, what it had been I was going to say. You guys would have been like, yeah, that's a really good point and so on. How am I supposed to get up to this? Oh, it's this thingy, this weird elevator. Or perhaps not. Okay, how do I, how do I... Like, boss, for real, how do I get up there? It's not through this door, because this is where the flickies are. Not the flickies, the chows. Hmm. Truly the greatest reasoning... Aha, here we go. Jet booster. Press and hold the jump button and you'll float for a while. I can do that in real life too. Not sure where I'm supposed to go. Do I just go back? Is that it? Oh right, okay. I'm a fool. I see you got the jet booster. Report to the rear of the ship. Hurry! Got to admit, it didn't take long. This wasn't a slow process. Eggman created a, a robot capable of higher reasoning and told, just told, just expected it not to develop that capacity. The sprite is an in-universe entity. Implicitly, it's Tikal from f thousands of years in the past, transmitting her voice into the future through future visions in order to tell us where we need to go and what we need to do. However, that has not actually been stated in the I game. That's just an obvious you inference you can make. Oh, nice rolled R. That was tasty. I will comply. I'm counting on you, Gamma. Oh, I am supposed to fight him. Huh. I remember the other side of this cutscene being that Gamma just tells him, like, 
I simply do not wish to fight you. Get wrecked, Sonic the Hedgehog. Why did Metal Sonic have such a hard time? Metal Sonic was a chump. Stop, Mr. Robot! <laughs> Amy? Hey, Mr. Robot. I know you're not an evil sword. Wait, remember me? Yes, from five minutes ago. Amy! Oh, I really don't get this. <laughs> Amy thinks he won't blast her point blank because he could have used violence to take the bird away and instead of doing that he chose not to and just let her leave. We've got to split. Take Amy and go. In Amy's... He must be stopped at all costs. There is probably quite a lot of fan art of Sonic nailing Eggman, actually. But yeah, in Amy's uh, in Amy's point of view of that of this cutscene, she's like, "This robot helped me before. He won't hurt us." And then he's like, "I guess I won't." I don't think she did tell him Come that. On. Oh, you can fly now? Okay. I mean, you normally fly by wiggling your tails, but I guess you can just levitate. We'll meet again, my robot friend. I don't like the way his eyes poke out when he does that. No! <laughs> I love his design, except for that. That's not okay. I disapprove. His traumatic memories from earlier this morning. You know, from his childhood, also earlier this morning. All the way back to his very birth, this morning. It's been one hell of a day for this poor guy. Robotnik. Enemy. Master registration deleted. E-series. Friends. Must save. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I love this plot. Like straight up, like I've made fun of every single plot for every character so far. I really like Gamma's plot. I actually genuinely like it. Um, like as far as like, you know, cyberpunk plot lines go, well I say cyberpunk, like cyber thrillery, you know, like not cyber thriller, you know, like robot stories, AI stories. As far as those go, um, this is a very good way to do the kind of story I like, but for eight-year-olds. This is a lot less stupid than most of the plot lines in this game, I say. Well aware that calling this game stupid is controversial, even though it quite observably is. But, like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. That said, I am not a roboticist, but generally speaking, I would recommend to Dr. Robotnik um, that the next time he develop warbots, he not give them the capacity to edit their own programming. On the other hand, maybe that's maybe that capacity is why uh, the E series is able to able to be as effective as they are. I suspect that the actual idea the writer had going on in his head is that this one is special, and that's why he's capable of being a good boy. As Amy said, he has he he has a good heart, unlike all of the other guys who are inherently evil from birth. Um, which I don't like, but that's an inference made about the, the thoughts in the mind of the author, which means that we can discard it and simply take the work as presented to us. Not entirely sure what I'm doing here, though. Oh, is the, hang on, is the, is the egg carrier back over there? I still, I still hate the name egg carrier. <laughs> There are eggs, and you must carry them. Alright, time to climb back inside the trauma proboscis. 
Oh, that was quick. Faster than usual. Can I... I don't recognize this Metal Sonic. Is this from something? Because this... This is the classic Metal Sonic from Sonic CD. This is a nice little Easter egg that it's here. This is the this is the design from Sonic CD of Metal Sonic, the antagonist of that game and the the powerful minion of Doctor Robotnik. What happens if I what happens if I actually solve this puzzle though? Which we may never know because I'm bad at it. <laughs> I, I can't remember what's on the other side of this door for everyone else. I think it's the rest of the ship. Oh, there we go. Excuse me? Ah! Disaster. He's, his hitbox is so big that he often hits multiple switches, which is inconvenient to say the least. Okay, I can't be bothered. I think this is I think this is Gamma's track because every character gets their own backing music track. Uh, it could be Eggman's though; it's hard to tell. Final egg action stage. I have to collect 50 rings as well this time. Oh, I might just be repeating this actually. Yeah, okay, so some of the other characters can repeat some of their stages and try and get higher scores. So I guess that's what's happening. Did it say to get 50 rings? There, I swear to god there aren't 50 rings in this. Is there a whole platforming section I missed? Don't look like it. Mission failed. Uh, I think I'm just gonna leave. The I don't particularly target. care to repeat this mission. Destroy the targets. Oh. oh boy. Time to waste all of my lives Destroy pointlessly. Just like in real life. Destroy the targets and you'll get extra time. Mission complete. I love that they thought to put a, a carrying clip on his gun, even though he doesn't need to carry it because it's attached to his arm. It's a nice little little physical detail, and I like the way it wobbles, but it's still a bit of an uh, odd thing to include. Okay, I guess I do have to solve the puzzle. Oh boy. Like I said, almost every character comes to this room eventually and has to solve the same puzzle. I think Big the Cat is the only one who doesn't have to solve this puzzle, so good for him, I guess. I'm bad at solving this kind of puzzle. No! Ah! There we go. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Hello? Hmm, is this bugged or... Or is that not where I'm supposed to go? Help me sprite magical fairy from the past, that would help. That's the, that's the door I already went through. And that door's locked. Oh, no, it's not. Balls. Okay, so the other door is open, and that's the one I have to go through. Destroy the Sonic target. Destroy the targets, and you'll get extra time. I can just ignore all this. I'm just going to go to the end. There doesn't seem to be enough rings to... to actually get the bonus. I mean, I know I missed a bunch, but I didn't miss 37. Okay, so the one on the right is not the one I want. The one on the left is the one I want. Which is this one? What do they both lead there? Hell yeah! Oh wait, that's how I got in. Balls. Okay. What the hell am I supposed to do then? 
Why am I allowed to go back? Okay, so that leads into this area. That leads to a repeat of that. This, I can't go through for some reason. Yeah, that's not taking me where it takes the other players, the other characters. And down here, there's a <coughs> excuse me, there's only a, a locked door. Maybe I, I guess I missed something in the forest, and I'm not actually supposed to come here at all, so I don't really know why it lets me. This game is not very keen on you exploring most of the time, even though it's supposedly one of its selling points and it has these big open zones for you to explore. Um, it very often locks things off and also uses uh, invisible walls and just doesn't let you do things that you reasonably ought to be able to do. Maybe I'm not supposed to come here at all. Maybe I should go talk to the magic sprite. Oh, the crash site of the egg carrier. But this is... Th there isn't a crash site of the egg carrier yet because... Because the egg car carrier is quite... Is, is over there. Like, it has the... It has the... the what do you want to call it? The proboscis. Like, the egg carrier doesn't crash until after the whole... You know, ovipositor segment. In the other player's story, the other character's stories, anyway. If I can get to it via the city, then that feels like it shouldn't be the case. It shouldn't work like that. I th no, he's only got. There's a cutscene of uh, the egg carrier taking off from this location, um, and that proboscis is not there all of the time. That umbilical, it's only there sometimes. So I'm pretty sure that that is a. A what do you call it? Please, you must help me. I found the footprint the size of a sink. I bet there's a big mysterious creature living around here. And strange robots too. No, for real. <laughs> is, he, is that, like, is he saying that about me personally? Like, is that some kind of microaggression? Or is that a clue that there's another robot around here? Uh, the sprinting animation is for on the ground. The flying animation is for going over water. Presumably they thought it wouldn't look right otherwise. Oh, he's got the slowest climbing animation. That's cool. It's gonna take a while to get back up here. So, anyone watched any good movies lately? I watched The Batman, or whatever it's called, which I... For the first two thirds of that movie, I thought it was a brilliant deconstruction of the modern superhero genre and was being intentionally hilarious. And then in the final third of the movie, I discovered that I was too smart for my own good and it was actually just garbage the whole time all along. The train headed for Hello, Square Icky. Will be departing soon. You have missed a great deal. You have missed my absolute delight at Gamma's story and my absolute disdain for the other one, the uh, big cat story. If you have the stone of wind, Gusts of strong winds are known to blow in the caves. Oh, it's supposed to go that way then? Where are the where are the windy caves? It's not up there. It's this way? Yeah, you missed all of Big. Luckily for you, the VOD is there. And also I am, of course, because I am insane. I save every single stream that I do that is not a chill stream. Uh, all of my regularly scheduled streams. And uh Eventually I put them on my YouTube channel, which anyone who's watching but doesn't know about should check out my YouTube channel because I do in-depth high quality Let's Plays and they're good and you should check them out. Um, but I say that all the time and I don't think most people do because I think most of the people watching this already know about my YouTube channel. Uh, because my viewer growth is almost imperceptible. I get like one new, one new, uh, one new follower a week. But also people hate it if you say, hey, remember to give me a follow. Motherfucker, I was supposed to be in the Mystic Ruins. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Anyway, Icarus, you've missed a large amount of me waxing lyrical about... Well, I'm not really waxing lyrical about the themes of Gamma, because they're not exactly complicated, but like... You've missed me rambling, rambling cheerfully about what I like about Gamma's story. I like it a lot more than any of the other stories we've seen so far. And not just because it's a robot who uh, attains higher reasoning but doesn't fit in amongst humans, which, as you know, is something I deeply identify with as a robot who's attained higher reasoning but does not fit in amongst humans. Can I shoot that down? I can, hell yeah. Oh, I can target it but not smash it, okay. That just feels pointless, feels rude. 
Anyway, you know this game like the back of your hand, so can you possibly tell me where I am supposed to go now? Because I went to the Mystic Ruins, and it didn't help. Rolling around at the speed of sound. I've got places to go. Got to follow my rainbow. No time for something. I can't remember how it goes. Uh, my last stage was the one where you fight Sonic and shoot him and he dies. Um... The problem with doing it at the same time for each stream is that, like, like uh, on a YouTube episode, you can reasonably put it at the end of the episode. Also, to be clear, I've I've, I've been in here. There's it's. Uh oh. The launch base has nothing. I went in there and uh, there's three doors. One leads back outside. One leads to a repeat of a stage I've already done, and the third one, you know, to get the B rank on it. Uh, and the third one instead leads to a door which doesn't actually function as a door it won't take me through and to take me to the other place that's the puzzle door um anyway what was i saying oh yeah um the thing about the thing about like remember to to follow is that like ideally you want to say that on like when there's a bunch of people watching who aren't already following and that's impossible to tell from like here um, so I try and say it when the when I'm at what seems like my highest like viewer count for the day, and then only say it once. How do I get to Red Mountain? Um, but if I just say it at the start or the finish, then like the only people watching are people who are probably already following me. Uh, whereas on YouTube, you can reasonably expect that some people will watch all the way through a YouTube episode without thinking, oh, I should follow. Windy Valley? I tried to go to Windy Valley and it wouldn't let me. It said I needed the Earth Key. T. Carl said I should go to Misty... Uh, to, to the Ruins, which is this, isn't it? Isn't this Mystic Ruins? So... Is one of my robot brethren just here? I'm supposed to be looking for my robot brothers right now. That's all I know. Oh, hang on. What's through here? Nothing whatsoever. Oh, it's in Tails' workshop? I didn't know that. I straight up did not know that you could get it from Tails' workshop. The only time I've ever found it is when it shows me a cutscene of it dropping somewhere. Infuriating game. Like, I like it a lot, but I, I do I would not have loved this as a child as I loved the sequel, and I am looking forward to playing the sequel instead. Ah, Sonic's story, which I played through two weeks ago. Like I haven't played, I haven't played this uh, Sonic story for two weeks because that was the first one I played through, and that was done in the first week of me streaming this, which was a while back. Oh yeah, it's just it's just straight up here on the ground pick for me to pick up with my large mechanical claws. I know the sequel doesn't have gamma, and that's a huge shame. I think he's in some. I think he's on in some pictures, which is like. Shameful. Like, they clearly had a couple cool characters that they wanted to become new parts of the Sonic, like, franchise on in an ongoing sense. Oh hell yeah, I love this track. But they clearly, they clearly had uh, a bunch of cool new characters they'd come up with that they- oops, oh, okay, that's my death. Mission failed. That they wanted to, like, become a part of the franchise and be a consistent thing that would exist for, the, for like, the rest of the, the franchise existence. And, um... And then they just didn't include them again. Biggs gets- Big gets one tiny cameo, or a couple tiny cameos, and I think... 
I think my boy Gamma here gets like, I think he's in a pic in a background picture on like a billboard or something. He's like an Easter egg, <laughs> which is a shame. He's he's the standout character here. He's absolutely great. I love him. I love him so much. I do look forward to the refinement of his mechanics for the next uh, in the sequel, though. What does this say? The robot you are looking for is up ahead. Thanks. This is a linear level, so I'm not sure that I entirely needed that assistance, but sure. Also, I don't think that that sprite is Tikal. There's been no actual direct indication that it is. No, there's been no there's been no actual direct indication, and she sounds different. She doesn't sound like the same character. Bluebee. Big's allowed to be a main character in Heroes, but that game came out like, ow, fuck off. Heroes came out like, um, several years later. Like, Heroes was like straight up the next generation after this. And I don't want Big to be the, the standout character. I have murdered my brother. That's probably not going to be good, D considering. Delta. Rescue complete. Um. Wait, hold on. I think my boy, my boy here, has misunderstood what rescuing something is. Hmm. This has concerning implications. You say he's rescuing them, not murdering them. However, I shot him full of bullets and he exploded. I shot him, but I shot him full of bullets and he exploded. Like, not to be all like checkmate, but I shot him full of bullets and he exploded. I have freed you, my brother, from this mortal coil. Oh, he's rescuing the animals inside? That is not what was implied by the narrative. He saw his he saw his brother being dismantled for parts and was like, "Oh shit. A the guy who says he's my father and I should trust him will happily dismantle me and re end my existence. And also, now I understand what death is and death may come for us all, and I love my brothers and I do not want them to die, and therefore I must save them from Eggman, who will clearly allow this to happen. That is what I got out of it, that. If what I was supposed to get out of that was, oh, he's been putting, oh my god, I'm too smart for my own good. What he was, he literally, of course, he saw the little animal being removed because all of Eggman's robots are powered by little animals. And he's like, oh right, I met a little animal and I liked it. Therefore, I need to rescue all of the little animals inside my brothers. That's so dumb. Ah, I reject this. I reject this cannon. I am replacing it. I'm committing suicide. <laughs> um, are you fucking kidding me? Are you joking? This is inappropriate. I, I reject it. I do not accept this truth for, for Gamma. Gamma, my beloved boy. No, I... No, there's no way. There's no way that was supposed to him. It is, isn't it? That's what the that's the authorial intent that he's like, "Oh, right. That little animal I made friends with. There are similar little animals inside my brothers, and I must now destroy them in order to release the little animals." Which perhaps gives us some some clue as to why he's not in the sequel because by definition, as an Eggman robot, he must be powered by a small animal and therefore his narrative can, has to end. Can only possible end can only possibly end in in him you know destroying himself to release the animal within himself that's the only possible way this narrative can end based on how it how i have now understood it to be set up
Oh hell yeah, this music slaps. I'm not even talking because I just want to listen to this music. But also, um, giving the writers too much credit, no offense, that's kind of my whole deal. Like, or, well, critique, criticizing the writers for not doing what they could have done that would have been better is my whole deal. You've got to remember, that's like literally the basis of my YouTube channel is doing literary critique to video games, whether they deserve it or not, because they are, of course. You know, everyone insists, oh, games are art, blah, 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 blah. And then they're like, don't critique games as art, no matter what. Never ever critique games as if they are art, because you're not allowed to say a game is bad art. You're only allowed to say it is or is not art. Uh, anyway, so that's a pet peeve that is not really relevant to anything right now. I actually was I was actually trying to get the the access to the Chow Garden in one of the other ones because I wanted to I wanted to see Gamma interact with them and then I just completely forgot about it. So if I get the chance, which I should, on the way out of this place, I will remember to go to Chow Garden. I mean, you think it's cute, but like I'm like that in my everyday life. Every day, every day I walk into the kitchen and I'm like Item obtained. I open the fridge and I'm like, fridge opened. It's really irritating and my flatmates hate it. Alas, I have no points. I was simply programmed that way. No points? No ability to... What even did I mean to say? Not no points. No... No choice. There we go. I definitely meant to say choice, not points. Which would be an interesting gamer slogan. Choice, not points. Also, yes, I did game over, but that's only because it's really easy to fucking, like, fall off cliffs. <laughs> like, I'm not bringing my A-game to this because I know it's going to throw me in a hole and kill me anyway. Also, I like the implication that Gamma could and would fuck up Sonic absolutely right righteously. It's only the fact that Amy was like, hey Gamma, don't fuck up Sonic, that he didn't. Eggman finally successfully built a robot capable of defeating Sonic the Hedgehog, and then it chose not to. E104 Epsilon. Rescue complete. Yeah, I feel like there are some there are some areas in this game that were designed almost in the abstract without kind of really thinking about how they fit into the world. Um which is not uncommon for platformers. There is, to e some extent, this feel that it's like... E-104 Epsilon. Rescue mission accomplished. I still think he's trying to rescue his brothers and he's just completely e misunderstood. E-105 Zeta. E-101 Beta. Location unknown. Misunderstood what that means. He's either freeing them from Eggman's control or his goal is to put them back together later. Perhaps aboard the egg carrier. I absolutely refuse to accept the idea that... That he just wants to rescue the little animals. I know it's what makes sense based on the concept of this game. And that I just misread the scene of him watching his brother be literally dissected in front of him. I'm like, gee, I wonder what psychological ramifications discovering A, mortality, and B, discovering mortality through the medium of watching your brother be dissected by an evil scientist, will have on this nascent consciousness, this new entity that is only just now coming into existence. But no! God, you have robbed me. You have robbed me of my total righteous indignation of whatever hap when I see whatever happens later in this plotline. Like, I for realsies thought they were doing something a bit more interesting with this. Mode changed. Mode changed. Hell yeah! Oh my god, it's night time! Hell yeah! 
Shower garden, baby! Where's my boys? I haven't seen these ones in ages. Pink elephant, that's perfect. Pick up. <laughs> chow, 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 chow. He's so speedy. Huh, I don't like that. They look like- it looks like he has a few human finger instead of an arm. That's really unpleasant. Oh, that's awful. Look at him. Look at this boy. He's got thumbs where his arms should be. With big yellowy fingernails. <laughs> that's the most unfortunate design in this. Let's give him a gorilla instead. You, gorilla. Nope, he's still got the horrible, horrible thumbs. Gamma's hitbox is so huge, it makes him it makes it a lot harder to pick things up. Just like it made it harder to solve that puzzle earlier. And I can't pick up things in the water. Oh, hey, they're fucking drowning. Oh, but I can't pick them up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Like, as you asked, I have now brought Gamma to this place to interact with the Chows. However, the Chows are in the water and have not leveled up their swimming capacity, so they are fucking drowning. But because Gamma himself lacks the capacity to pick up objects when in the water, everyone else can do that. No. This is, this is a tragedy, and we just have to sit and watch it happen. I want to- I'm leaving. I can't take this. This is- this is terrible. Gamma outie. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Right, where am I? I, sh I should go to the Mystic Ruins, right? Because of the Egg Carrier? I think? That's where the Egg Carrier was before the last mission, but maybe it's- maybe it's crashed now because it's night time? <clears throat> Mode change. <clears throat> Tragically, I cannot do anything to ease the suffering of these small and delicious looking creatures. Truly, we are all cursed in our lives to observe misery and suffering and have no capacity to ameliorate it. This truly is the underlying basis of the concept that to live is to suffer. For not only are we tied to our own suffering, but we are tied inherently to the suffering of others as we observe. Haha, <laughs> look, a little animal. Go to the egg carrier crash site. You might find something. Egg carrier crash site's over by the town hall, right? This man does not quit. All day he's been driving into my shins. Six different characters I've walked through this place. He's driven into the shins of every single one of them, including this guy who's like the volume of a Mack truck. Oh, this ain't it. Maybe the crash site is back where the Mystic Ruins were. That's what I said. That's what I said two plot lines ago. But two plot lines ago, that wasn't the answer and I needed to come back here. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. It's only happened- wait, no, it only happens in Amy's story. She was the only one who took the raft. Amy's the only one who did that. Nobody else did that. Sonic just bounced around like a blue dipshit and, uh, Knuckles didn't care. <laughs> and, um, Tails had to go have a conniption somewhere instead. Oh, I thought that was a I thought that was like an outboard motor. I didn't realize it's a little a little spinning wooden thing. Accessing data. Hot shelter. E series location confirmed. Unlocking hot shelter sector now. Oh, you can do that now? You weren't allowed before. Why does he have a boat landing? This doesn't feel like it's crashed, this just feels like it's landed. Or watered, I guess. Oh, 
<clears throat> I still don't know what this box is for. I wasn't able to smash it as any character. Cannon, out of order. I don't think I've seen these cannons do anything either. Apart from shoot at tails in the shmup segment. Because this game really does have every mechanic in it. No, he couldn't go to the hot shelter before because it was locked. Like, the door didn't open. I tried. The door just refused to open for him. Hell yeah, I like this place. I really, I, I really thought there was going to be a fishing fishing section in here, but there wasn't. <laughs> this uh, this beautiful tropical locale that I would absolutely love to chill in in real life still serves zero purpose. Why is it in the game? Dunno. Am I pleased that it's here anyway? Absolutely. <clears throat> Your friends are in the hot shelter. Hurry up and rescue them. Yeah, see, by friends, I assumed that meant my my robot brothers. I want to get I want to get a pair of booty shorts with entry permitted printed across the across the, across the back. I think that would suit me pretty good. Robotnik has so many beach chairs in that room because, um, like, a beachside resort with only one beach chair doesn't feel like a beachside resort. It doesn't feel right. Like, his his desire here, I think, is to create something that looks and feels like a beachside resort, not something that is for his own personal use, necessarily. Well, I mean, it's for his personal use, but he wants it to feel like a beachside resort. Like, he doesn't have to worry about other people stealing his beach chair if no one else is on the ship, you know? anything for killing these guys. The American right wing wants to install robots in every bathroom to shoot you. Um, I do- okay, for, you know, for a second I forgot gender existed. I was gonna make a joke about how it's cool that the only two genders recognized in this place are red and blue, but then I remembered that like the whole blue-pink dynamic thing <laughs> and how girls are supposed to like pink and boys are supposed to like blue. You know, the inexplicable and hellish random fucking strictures of, of, of society. Hey, don't worry if your internet busts, you can always check out the VOD. I do want to finish Gamma's story today, though. Normally I would have finished streaming already today, because I try and stream for two hours and not more so that I don't damage myself. Why the fuck couldn't I grab on that ladder? But... Uh, I do- I'm, I'm just- I'm close to finishing, you know? And nobody likes to stop when they're close to finishing. Everyone always wants to have that final release, you know what I mean? Sonic the Hedgehog Adventure DX. It's not unlike an orgasm. It is a lot unlike an orgasm. Um, what the hell? Oh, fuck off! God damn. Mm, yeah, I know, that's why I want to try and finish it. Like, I'm pretty sure there's like one or two more gamma sections. There's at least one more gamma section, and then there's the final final boss, right? The secret, the secret ultimate final boss. Oh, don't give me that. Your your performative sex repulsion is fascinating to me because I know it's performative. <laughs> but uh, look, it's just a part of my personality that I make sex jokes and sultry voices sometimes. I can't help it.
And also, plus, you know, if me having a voice people find appealing and making sex jokes is something that gets me a few new followers, I'm hardly going to criticize it. Are you going to enlighten me as to what this uh, really great bit of the hot shelter is? Actually, I bet I would get more followers if I showed cleavage on stream. But I don't even have face cam. So many baby animals. There's way more, like, Robotnik bots to smash in these levels, which makes sense because they're shooting levels, but it, it does make it feel a bit weirder with how many animals you can carry, being so much smaller than the amount of animals in a level. Oh, the emote was about me falling off the edge. Okay, fair enough. I apologize for impugning your your unwillingness to hear me make yet more sex jokes. Button. Oh, I see. I am cargo. Oh, it's notoriously difficult. Great. It's not like we haven't seen notoriously difficult sections of this game already. Grabby. Grabby! Activity ceased. Oh, what? Oh, I ran out of time. Shit. I forgot about time. You know, as the song by... Oh, excuse me? That's the song by extremely good classic um, fantasy metal band Blind Guardian goes, Time, what is time? I was supposed to gain time back by uh, by smashing stuff, and I've done nothing but smash things since I got here. Grabby. Oh yeah, the 3D low poly animal models are delightful to me. I genuinely really like them. Am I going to run out of time again? Signs pointer, yes. Oh, I need to. Oh, okay. It's got a, it's got a cool train battle segment. Every shooter needs a good train battle segment. Is that what your favorite bit is? Do I no longer gain time for killing stuff? Signs also point to yes. Why am I not gaining more time? Activity ceased. Oh, I am now. They don't make this easy, do they? Can I get back up on top of these somehow? Yo! Oh, thank god, a checkpoint. quiet now because I'm focusing. Like, this is actually pretty tough. I love a shootout on a moving train. I love those... I love train... train battles in games, especially in shooters. What does this do? Oh, that's the stop button. But... I do think... it's very much not my... not something I like for a Sonic game. It's not very Sonic the Hedgehog-y, you know? Sonic the Hedgehog is about rolling around at the speed of sound with places to go. And rainbows to follow. Which would be a better running joke if I could remember literally any of the other lyrics of that song. But soon we'll be streaming through the sequel to this game, which features that song, and therefore I won't need to remember it because it will be just in the game. Hooray.
Where am I supposed to... Is this a zoomy thing? No. Oh god, oh god, I'm going to die. That was good timing for that checkpoint, I'll say that much for free. <laughs> Instantaneously eats shit and dies. My favourite Sonic song is actually the um, uh, the Sonic CD intro song. I really love that song. Sonic boom, Sonic boom, Sonic boom. Save the planet from disaster. Sonic boom, Sonic boom, etc. But that might be because the animation that goes with it is genuinely rather beautiful. It really makes a lot of sense to me that the new Tyson Hesse animations are the, the basis of uh, all of the new Sonic the Hedgehog 2D games are heavily inspired by those Sonic animations from back in the day, because my goodness, they were great. All right, what yet remains? Entry permitted. Can I shoot these? No. Can't murder the maids. I wasn't even joking about wanting booty shorts to say entry permitted. I think those would really suit me. E105 Zeta rescue complete. Units remaining. Hell yeah, I was right. He's gonna have to destroy himself. Gamma. Oh, he was being upgraded, not dismantled. Beta. Huh. Yeah, I thought this was telling a much more interesting story than it ultimately turned out to be telling. Which is, <laughs> which is, as I mentioned, considering the, you know, considering I mentioned my, my, my disappointment with the recent Batman movie earlier, it does seem to be a consistent problem I have. I always think people are being smarter than they are, which really only serves to show that I should be the person responsible for making all media, because pr almost everyone who, almost everyone who actually does make, make whatever thing, ends up making something way better than the ideas I would have put in it. This is why I'm such a great critic, because I'm better at everything than everyone. Icarus, I'm astonished you would use such language. Gamma's design. Uh, I mean, Beta's design. He's got. He's a lot less uh, chunky, chunky, clunky, which I like for robots better than smooth, organic iPhone designs. This guy's a little bit too, a little bit too smooth and organic. Oh, I missed him. Shit. Okay, I made him made him shoot that one off the side. Absolutely missed. Get wrecked, buddy. Why can't I hit him? There we go, now he's dead. 
Oh, I know when he's vulnerable. I, I was not confused about when he's vulnerable. He's only vulnerable immediately after he does the shielded charge. I, I knew that from the first Mission hit. Like, complete. What was weird was that he did that charge twice and I, I couldn't target him afterwards. I couldn't get it to lock onto him to hit him. Also, please don't feel bad for your bad joke. Um, mocking usage of, 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 of bad people's shit language doesn't bother me. Double barrels, oh no. But now at last, for the battle only we two can fight. Oh wait, it's over. Oh, that one had the flicky in. Well, yeah. Gamma's, Gamma pr presumably has the other flicky in, because there's three flickies at the end of Amy's story. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He's going to understand, he's going to understand the necessities of his existence and that it must come to an end in order to, in order to achieve a higher moral goal of releasing the thing that his existence naturally, fr naturally keeps in prison. Gamma, my beloved. You know how this has to end. Boom, there it is. I was right! You horrible bitch, you lied to me. I was right all along. In the end, he had to destroy himself. Well, I mean, I wasn't right all along because I originally thought they were doing something else. But as soon as we clarified that he's destroying him, that he's destroying the robots to release the little little baby bird guys. Of course, he has a little baby bird in himself, so he knows he must in end his own existence in order to free those he keeps imprisoned. I like that. I like that ending. Also explains why he's not in the sequel. Um. But yeah, no, okay, so basically I've done all of the talking I would normally do over the credits. I've already done, because I already talked about why I liked the idea of this story, um, and I like the idea of the way it ends, and I like how it goes. I would have preferred if he was attempting to rescue his brothers from uh, Robotnik. But I guess if he if he decides that he needs to free the little birdies inside them, then that's... That's a good way for it to go. Like the idea that Robotnik traps animals and uses them to power his robots is has been a plot point since the earliest games. I say plot point as if the earliest games had plots, you know. The plot was run fast to the goal and then jump on Eggman's head. But, you know, it's in the manuals. Um so I it, yeah, like in terms of ideas that play with the na na like of the six storylines, this is the only one that actually plays with some of the concepts that are core to the Sonic franchise as an idea. Almost all of the other plot lines seem to be just pulling in a whole bunch of other stuff that doesn't feel Sonic-y. You know, ancient gods and magic and stone temples don't really feel particularly Sonic-y. Um... But yeah, I do like that. I had some other thing I was going to say and I can't remember what it was. This is the longest stream I've done in a while, so I'm kind of burnt out in my brain right now. I can't think of anything additionally clever to say. But oh god, hang on, doesn't this unlock the secret, secret actual super duper actual secret final boss? Well, we don't know that Chaos is a god of nature. We don't know what Chaos is. We haven't been told any details about what Chaos is. He's just kind of a guy who's here. It's only even implied that he's to do with the Chows at all. He's some kind of protector spirit of the Chows, but what he is and what they are is is, is not exactly gone into in detail, unless that shows up in the final secret bonus, actual final story. Uh... 
I love that the lyrics to this song are like a robot voice in the background that's part of the beat going bleep, bloop. I mean, guardian spirit of the Master Emerald does not necessarily mean, like, spirit of nature. There absolutely is a, a theme of environmentalism all the way through, about the, you know, all the way through since the earliest games, even though unintentionally in the earliest games, I believe, because it's just, what's a fun villain we can have? The themes of environmentalism, I think, really only enter the franchise with the, the, the 1980s Saturday morning cartoon, which had a much stronger emphasis on, um, on environmentalism and on Robotnik is a bad guy who was destroying the environment. Okay, but giant water creature doesn't necessarily mean... Like, he's got a floating brain in there and stone stonework all up in him. That says to me, entity created by a culture for a purpose. Oh, Gamma, you were too good, too pure, too sweet for this world. But yeah, so I don't really believe that I don't really believe that any of the other storylines engage with ideas of what Sonic is or what it is as a franchise or what it is as a concept beyond bringing new stuff in. And I, I'm fine with bringing new stuff into a franchise. I think they need to grow and change over time. But I, I think that when what you bring in is really boring, trite stuff that is not really relevant to what it was previously, that is possibly a negative thing. But, but Gamma's storyline, I really like. Uh, ow, fuck. Um... I really like the way that it interweaves with the the ideas of of Sonic and what Sonic is, and is a slightly more mature, slightly more advanced idea. For all that I semi facetiously talked about, you know, existence and the nature of existence and suffering and all of these other things that I that I jokingly talked about, um, you know, there is there is something to it, and it does it does remind me of like good good cyberpunk anime from the nineties. It's a shame he doesn't get to be on his own final screen, though. Like, it wasn't the flicky inside him's story, it was his story. Wow, 47. I probably missed so many of these, I wonder how many of them are actually in the game. I don't know what happens if you collect all of them. I think they might relate to unlocking stuff in the, the chow shop, but that is... Uh, that's just because that's the way it is in the sequel. 121? Fuck off! I suppose you get one for getting B rank and getting A rank on every mission, probably. And then the rest of them are hidden. Select your character. Supersonic. So that's the, the final secret final right? Hmm. Hmm. That's the noise Sonic makes when you startle him from behind. Why is that? Why is the tornado higher res here than previously? It's got a better poly count. For anyone who doesn't know, if you gather all all of the Chaos Emeralds in the earlier two D Sonic the Hedgehog games, you turn into Super Sonic. Who is basically that Sonic. Yes, hell yeah! I hate that hedgehog! No, get in my way. I, get foil, my master plan. I love this guy. Chaos Bro, that's a puddle. Like I get what you're saying, but that's for reals he's a puddle. The Master Emerald is where it belongs. But Angel Island is still falling. This doesn't make any sense. Hey, you're telling me. 
those Chaos Emeralds that I brought back with me have something to do with what's happening. Okay, but when this temple was whole in the I'll ancient past... The for his advice. <laughs> okay, the fact that this is called the Supersonic storyline, I suspect that bring... Oh, he beefed it hard. Eggman. He's got some serious road rash now. This is terrible! Chaos is... Is what? Eggman, how did you get here? I mean, it got increasingly more powerful with each uh, Chaos Emerald it ate, right? So this one should be super easy to, easy to lay a beat down on. But yeah, no, the fact that this is called the Supersonic Run, I suspect that bringing the Chaos Emeralds to Sonic will once again awaken his like hyperspeed avarice and he will be like, thanks Knuckles, I'm sure you brought these for my benefit. Yep. And maybe I'll take another vacation somewhere. Hey there, Tails! Did you find the tornado too? Never mind that! Get up and follow me! Can they only have one vector of animation at a given time? Because he can't shake his head and walk at the same time. He just. I don't know, but we better hurry! Blob blob blub blub is what I sound like. Am I Chaos? Oh, I haven't played Sonic in a while. Ah, oh, it's nice to go fast. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Speedy! That was the magic temple, wasn't it? Through the Yonic hole over here? This hole was sealed up at multiple points after it had already broken open. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Oh, yeah, once again, that's the only bit I can remember. I love the Sonic does a Naruto runner. Right, this is where I just saw things happening. So presumably it's where I'm supposed to go. What? It's not? Oh, Knuckles got his ass beat as well. <laughs> There's a little bit going around. It's highly contagious. Sorry. Knuckles and Eggman. What happened here? He stole my Chaos Emeralds. Knuckles, they're not yours. It's still alive. What? Ah, he's not gonna get away with this! Hey, Eggman, wait up! Sonic, Chaos is a fearsome beast. If he gets that last Chaos Emerald, we're done for. No need to explain. We'll get on it. Didn't we Chaos? kill it with all the Chaos right. Emeralds in the past? What? Oh, is this where we finally find out what the oh, deal with geez. the Magic Spirit is? This place, it looks familiar. It's not a dream after all. Oh right, the genocide. Yeah, that's a, that's a for realsies genocide, lads. Although the the baby bodies of the uh, of the said? dead Chow you seem to ah, there they are. We need those seven emeralds to give us total power. It's power for the people. And they are your people too, you know. We must get that emerald. Greed is our enemy. Once it starts, you will always want more. I mean, it's implied they've already conquered Please a bunch of people. I beg you. Bah! I don't listen to the words of a child. Ready, men? Charge! These fat babies are no match for my mighty warriors. <laughs> now, who thought this was a good idea to put in a Sonic the Hedgehog game? But I was right. Chaos is a Chaos is a protector spirit of the Chows, and they summoned it to fight back against the guys doing a genocide to them. Why does it have a human brain? Oh! That's the real question I've been looking for an answer for this entire time. Hey, 
are you all right? No, she's fucking dead. No, she looks alright to me. I think so. oh, Icarus, do you just come on my stream to lie to me? Is that just what you do? No, no, no. Or is she dead because this takes place five thousand years ago? Wait up. I'm never gonna trust anything you say ever again. The seven emeralds are the servers. Chaos is power enriched by the heart. The controller serves to unify the chaos. <gasps> anyway, I mean, this always feels like... The seven emeralds can change our thoughts into power. If this emerald controls that power, please, you must stop him. Sonic, wake up! Uh, <laughs> I was on a snooze cruise, I guess. Good thing you're okay. You just sort of conked out there. Michael's <laughs> left already. Come, we gotta go after the last emerald. Uh, lead the way. It should still be on board the tornado too. I love how everyone is still incredibly twitchy all of the time. The animations in this game are astonishingly bad. Um. Even for the time, like, even for the time they were pretty bad, I think. Oh, fuck. Th by the way, this is why I game over, because I just forget the holes for me to fall down. Wait, why did I come here? Oh well, shortcut. In, uh... In stream- in, in uh, speedrunning communities, this is what's called a death abuse. Saved me, like, 15 seconds. See, what's really funny is because of the stream delay, I made that joke slightly before you made that joke, but from your point of view, you made that joke before I made that joke. Oh, he just plugged the Chaos Emerald it right into the front of it? That seems... No! He's got the last Emerald! Now what do we do? What's the word for when you're not careful about things? There's a... God damn it. Careless? No, that's not it. Irresponsible, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> it seems irresponsible. There we go. Hey, I remember this from the intro cutscene. Hey, it's that fucking taxi that keeps running me over. Station Square is going to no longer be there. I hope you all appreciate that the only reason I'm not making, like, cum jokes right now is because I for realsies. Like, I can't string two words together in a way that's funny anymore because I've been streaming for three hours. Oh yeah, no, tons of people are dead. Like, everybody's dead, Dave. What is with these Final Fantasy-ass cutscenes? I came to this game to play a brightly coloured hedgehog who jumps on robots. If I wasn't just dreaming, that monster... It's a real menace. Yeah, no shit! I feel like your dream is irrelevant to how much of a menace this thing is now that 15,000 people are dead. Looks like he's after chaos too. The cute snake though, that's what she said. Because something like this could happen. You have defied your master, stupid beast. Now he must be destroyed at all costs. I like that he's making little laser noises, but he's not shooting anything. I didn't plan for this eventuality! I just... 
team rockets blasting off again. I've had enough. Who do you think you are anyway? Oh, it's you. The one who sealed chaos in the Master Emerald. Oh, he was trapped in the Master yeah. Emerald. Okay. Hadn't picked up on that little tidbit of information. My heart has always been in the Master Emerald along with Chaos's. Now he's filled with anger and sadness. She super doesn't seem and dead to me. Goes on, he'll eventually destroy the world like he did before. Generally speaking, the dead can't like talk. But yeah, no, kind of like weird Final Fantasy end of the world stuff is it feels it doesn't feel fitting for, for Sonic the Hedgehog. It doesn't feel like the right choice. How can that help? It won't change how he feels inside, will it? Excuse me? His heart will still remain in turmoil, and his anger just won't vanish. Well, yes, but he will be at least be in a box. It was fine up until now. What choice do we have? But also, she's clearly not dead because she's still around. Someone's spirit is still being in the world doesn't isn't really the same as them being dead, because they ain't Gonzo. It looks kind of grody. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? We brought you all of these empty, drained-up Chaos Emerald. Negative power of the emeralds. Sonic, you should be able to harness their real power. Dropping a lot of. As much as I hate to admit it, I think Tails is right about this. Dro dropping a lot of world-building concepts on me Go unexpectedly Sonic! here. Yeah, this is out of nowhere. <laughs> Icarus, that's adorable, but also... Really? I can see why an eight-year-old would be like, this is the raddest thing I've ever seen. Those aren't survivors, those are the voices of the ignoble dead. This is pretty cool though, I like this. See, this is this is a Sonic the Hedgehog game, this is what I've been waiting for. Hell yeah, speedy as fuck. Hell yes, hell fucking yes. This is what I've been after all along. Shadows, you say? Oh, oops. Nice to see it still has the problem of completely resetting your momentum occasionally. Hitboxes? What's that? I do like this song a lot as well. How? Oh, you're telling me that they finally, after however many hours of this game, figured out a way to have your speed actually matter as Sonic? Sonic the Sonic the Hedgehog? Sonic, you know, the speedy guy? It's almost like when you decide that him going fast is an important and relevant thing to do, you get a really cool level. This is literally the first time that it's mattered that he goes fast. Oh hey, 
that in the background is the uh the mayor's the mayor's building the town center or whatever it's called from the original dreamcast version of the game but this but that building is different in the station square presented in this version of the game if i remember correctly like that that building with the tower on top Um, because for some reason, when they made the director's cut version, they took, uh, they took out the, the tower and just made it a three-story building instead of a two-story building. Why? I don't know. But they did. But it's fun to see that it's still here in the background. Now, if I remember correctly, in the 2D Sonic games, when you went Super Sonic, your, um, You had to you had to keep gathering rings to be going fast enough for it to work. Also, we're learning interesting things about Wooksfrith today. Did not realize that you were that level of a monster fucker. Oops. My velocity. Can we have the cool music back? I like that more. Hmm, that's not going to be fast enough. Like, this is the most generic kind of boss music imaginable. It's really disappointing. That should be fast enough. Get brained. Of course there's a fan remaster. Why am I not surprised? But, yeah, I mean, honestly, even if it just had that same music for, for both phases, like, not even switching it around, but just having that music, I think it would improve it massively. I think, generally speaking, the desire to, to pull in this sort of, like, end-of-the-world Final Fantasy villain stuff, it's like... Hey, I'll play with you some other time. What do you mean I nearly lost? All of this was completely according to plan. I'm very good at video games. Oh, I guess you're just like a normal guy now. <laughs> By punching you in the brain, I have successfully cured you, cured you of your anger and fury and destruction. I failed to exactly see what Sonic's plan was here. He wanted to calm the guy down and have him resolve his negative emotions healthfully. And in order to do that, he punched him in the brain six times. Chaos has changed again. This time for the better. Yeah! Supersonic must have neutralized it, so it's nice again. That's a reach, buddy. That's a goddamn reach. These are the chow you were protecting. They stayed alive for generations and now live peacefully with humans. I mean, you could say that sometimes violence helps, but like... The fighting's over, harmony's restored, and life goes on. The obvious interpretation of what has happened here is that we punched his brain into a different shape. This isn't a happy ending, we performed a lobotomy. So much. Also, the whole positive energy, negative energy thing is so out of left field. Finally, I can die. <laughs> I must go now. My people need me. Sadly, Tikal and Chaos died on their return to their home world.
I regret nothing! Oh, Eggman. What the f- Why is Big here? Why is Big the cat here? What did he do? Sonic doesn't care for the thousands who just died. Sonic cares only about one thing, and that is going fast, and he's got a cool new obstacle course to try. I love the energy of just being like, oh, Eggman, up to your old tricks again. I'm going to foil your plots. And Eggman is meanwhile like, I have murdered 15,000 people. sure was a lot of decisions that they made about the Sonic franchise, um, and it definitely characterized the next decade of, of Sonic the Hedgehog games, I'll tell, I'll tell you that much. What really fascinates me is about why they thought it was a good or fitting idea to have this whole kind of like... darker and edgier, I guess? It's weird because it's still just as brightly colored, but some of the stuff that happens in it is very kind of like, how do we make a more mature Sonic the Hedgehog? And of course, like all bad directors, well, okay, that's probably unfair. Like all, like all mediocre art, it goes, I know, we'll make it have serious stakes. People might really get actually hurt. And it just, it's out of it. It's like, completely it loses the core of what's like good about the thing i think you could easily have had i don't know a similar increase in stakes without having the whole kind of like ancient echidna civilization or the kind of like end of akira destroyed city kind of kind of stuff i didn't get my revenge on the taxi uh chaos did that all by its own self. I like that Chaos apparently had a programmer all to himself. Oh, the ancient is wait, hang on, the ancient Echidnas were established in Sonic 3? I never got far enough in that one, I only ever made it halfway through Sonic 3. I thought it was all based on the insane Ken Penders stuff, which is one of the writers for the Sonic the Hedgehog comics made some very curious and very strange decisions over a long period of time and did a lot of kind of self-insert stuff uh, with regards to the ancient vanished warrior race of the Echidnas. I mean, yeah, the Angel Island levels are full of ruins, but there's, there's, there's only a limited extent to what you can infer about stuff. There's plenty of old ruins in all of the Sonic games. Sonic 1, literally the second... Uh, the second zone on, on in Sonic 1 is a bunch of ancient ruins. Sonic 2 has a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I've never been clear on the timeline of, of Ken Penders just shitting up the comics. Hi there! Yeah, unfortunately you've missed, like... The entire like stream series of this but on the bright side uh i'm gonna be doing a stream series of sequel picking up probably immediately or maybe i'll do another game in between i haven't decided yet but i have a regular stream schedule so you should hopefully be able to pick up on that and if you like you could always give me a follow which since this is the end of the stream i may as well bring up that stuff now anyone who doesn't already know uh should know that i have a youtube channel where i do in-depth um, well-researched critical analysis let's plays it's kind of a thing also thank you to my patreon patrons and thank you to my Kofi donators and I stream currently Tuesday Thursday Saturday but I might change that to the schedule and there is a discord channel on my about linked on my about page where I do announcements of streams and things like that sort of thing Sonic Adventure 2 is my is is the only might be the only 3d sonic game that i like um i have a lot of criticisms of this game although i have very much enjoyed playing it and i think it's very delightful i think it's very charming however 
something can be very delightful art while still not being a good example of the art that it is. If you know what I mean? It's it's kind of a... <laughs> it's kind of a thing. Anyway, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Um, as I have said, I will either be starting Sonic Adventure too soon or I might want to break in between with a different game. I'll probably pick something short if that's the case. Just because some of my regular audience is like, can we have something with guns in? Although this one has guns in. It has exactly one gun. Not counting all the artillery, but like... I don't have Sonic Heroes. I'll tell you what though, I could borrow my friends that I have... My, my friend, A friend of mine that I haven't talked to in about two years um, has a capture card and I could possibly get set up to do that. I don't think Sonic Heroes is on the PC. Sonic Heroes is one of the ones I've never played, unfortunately. Or, I mean, I suppose I could always emulate it, but I, I don't... Uh, emulation feels like such a hassle to set up half the time. Yes, the, the Umbrella Destruction, the third genocide in this game. Anyway, that is for realsies the end of Sonic Adventure DX The Director's Cut. So, you know, thank you so much for watching. That is actually all of, all of everything for today, because I don't, like, have another game to play, and also I've been streaming for three whole ass hours. Thank you so much for watching.